On this week's Jack Swarbrick Show, Natalie Achanwa joins the program. The senior from Guelph, Ontario had a career high 26 points against Virginia. Ryan Camden here with Natalie Achanwa here on the Jack Swarbrick Show, senior forward for the women's basketball team from Guelph, Ontario, coming off a fantastic game against Virginia. 26 points, 16 rebounds, and, and let's start with that, Natalie. Tell me about the transition uh, from, uh, from coming from Canada and coming to college and school in America. Guelph's about eight hours from here. Uh, yeah, I mean, me driving is about six, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think just... I was really looking forward to the opportunity to come to the States and to play basketball. Um, just the college level, there's a complete difference between college basketball in Canada uh, to the U.S. So I was looking forward to the opportunity to showcase the talents that I did have and also to develop them further. What is maybe the one thing uh, you miss about home or, or what is the one thing you can get there that you can't just find anywhere here? Um, there's a lot of snacks that I do like that are from home that I maybe nutritionists might not approve them um, but I definitely get my parents or any of my friends that come up uh, to bring them um, just some different candies and chips and stuff that we don't have and um, Jules actually a big fan of the peanut butter because apparently it's different I didn't notice it but peanut butter is different it's like like the, the, the gifs a little different or uh, we actually I think it's a I think it might be a completely different brand. I can't tell the difference, but Jules obsessed with it. And every time my mom comes, she goes through a whole jar, so. <laughs> we'll have to put that to the test someday. <laughs> when you decided that you wanted to play basketball in the States, and you, and you already talked about that competition level, what stuck out for you about Notre Dame, or why did you choose to, to come here to South Bend? The biggest thing definitely was the balance between academics and athletics. Uh, just the whole atmosphere about it. Um, I think people are, are a lot more focused um, on the academic aspect of it, on how well you're doing in the classroom um, and transitioning from after athletics as well, uh, what you can do and the Notre Dame degree just can is limitless with you. Uh, the alumni connection and, and the people that surround um, athletics and ac academics just leave the door open for you when you're done playing basketball. You're a tri-captain on the team along with uh, Ariel and, and, and Kayla. Tell me what you try to do in that position, or how is the uh, tell the makeup of you three as, as the captains on the team? I think we definitely, we, we're a great trio because we all do something different. Um, I think I'm more vocal, um, and I try to make sure that we're all on the same page and, and that the team is just organized. Um, that's my role. Um, Kayla is definitely the hype man. Uh, she can get everyone motivated and just by what she does. Um, I think she's just very energetic and kept our, keeps our team on pace that way. And Ariel's that hustle player um, that she'll get that one block or she'll be on the floor picking up the ball and, and just kind of leading our team in that aspect. So I think we all bring something different and that's why we work so well together. Great, great. 13 points, 9 rebounds a game uh, so far here in 2013-2014. Really a, a banner year for you. Talk about your progression as a player maybe through the last three and a half, four years. Uh, I think definitely a roller coaster. Um, I've had my ups and downs and even starting this year with the knee surgery um, with a little setback with that. I think I've kind of just taken it with stride. Um, my biggest thing is, is to never give up and to never quit. Um, so just with that being said is just trying to overcome and persevere through everything that I come through or uh, come into counter with. So I think it's just keeping an open mind and positive outlook. Great, great. 15 and 0, 3 and 0 in the ACC is the team ranked second in the nation. What makes you? Uh, what makes the team go? Oh, so many things. <laughs> um, but I definitely think that 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 ring at the end of the tunnel kind of idea, just that national championship, uh, is always our goal. No matter what little game it is, is is every play is for a national championship. And I think that's the focus that we're trying to have, and, and to make sure that we continue to have um, during some easier games, some tougher games. Um, just making sure that we're focused on our end goal. Like we noted, three games now into the uh, the ACC schedule with a, a coming off a very tough game against Virginia. Uh, through those three games, can, is there a difference between you know basketball in the ACC compared to, to Big East, or, or is there not one? I, there's definitely a difference. Um, I think we always had great competition in the Big East, uh, but it's just a little bit of a tempo change between the ACC and the Big East. Uh, we were always, always in the Big East. We were always a pass break team. We always beat at people up and down the court. But uh, now in the ACC, a lot of teams are similar to that. So they we're playing the same game. It's almost like we're playing against each other. So um, just about making sure that we're staying true to our tempo um, and making sure that we're staying true to our game and not maybe focusing on uh, the different teams in the ACC as much. 
Yeah, this team seems to have a little different look than, than years past with really a, a lot of young players like uh, Taya Reimer and Lindsey Allen contributing along with, uh, with the big three that you guys make. Talk up a, a little bit about the, the makeup of this team and, and how it really all gels and, and how great chemistry is. I definitely think we had a great freshman class coming in um, and their contributions so far and continuing to forward are going to be a big part of our team. Um, and just starting with the three of us having to bend to three Final Fours, um, just the experience of that um, and the drive of that and not necessarily just going to the Final Four, but the fact that we lost in the Final Four, um, I think is what kind of bonds us all together. The freshmen feel it but everyone else knows it, um, being in a Final Four and, and what it feels like to lose. So I think just the push of failure actually really helps us and bonds us together. Talk about your relationship with uh, Coach Carol Owens, one of the best post coaches in America. Uh, we came in at the same, well, technically she came back, but we came in at the same time. And uh, I think she's been a great uh, tool in helping me to develop into the player that I am today um, and she brings a lot to our team not only with the posts but um, she also adds a little bit of energy and, and excitement on the bench as well um, but she's been a great uh, instrument in our success as post players um, and as our team as a whole. Switching gears here a little bit it's been almost uh, two years since you played in the Olympics for Team Canada now now that you're separated and, and, and maybe gearing up for another Olympics run in a few years what was the most important thing that you took away from that experience? Oh, there was so much. Um, I just was really trying to live in the moment when I was there. There was so much going around and uh, just between the different athletes, the different events, and um, just to see so many professional people, um, people that are great at their craft in basketball and people that are just great at being overall athletes, how they take care of their body, how they prepare for the events, and also just the sacrifice that they had all put in um, kind of just reminded me that it's all worth it um, that everything that I go through there's plenty of other people that are successful that have gone through the same sacrifice and um, just a reminder that it's all going to be worth it in the end. Olympics, international basketball, three straight final fours this year you got to play in front of your home crowd you've had a lot of experiences and memories and, and now as a senior looking back what, what are one or two that maybe stick out for you? Well definitely so far this year that going back to Toronto meant a lot, lot for me. Um, that was one of the reasons I did come to Notre Dame is because of the opportunities that Coach McGraw and the program give us. Um, for me to, I never even dreamed that going to school in the States, that I'd be able to go home and play in front of all my family. And uh, so setting up that, that game was really important to me, um, to be able to have my friends and family all come watch me um, in a home crowd, <laughs> favored for us, so it was really nice. Very cool, very cool. You're enrolled in the uh, Mendoza College of Business. What's your focus within that department? Uh, management consulting. Um, Coach and I always talk about it. We're very similar in, in, in how structured we are and how planning we are, so uh, consulting, I kind of like, I get to maybe manage people a little bit and uh, different things like that, so it's really exciting for me. Senior, last semester, has it hit you kind of yet, or are you getting emotional or nostalgic, anything yet? Um, not really. Uh, I think it just hit me today because we just uh, because of classes and everything like that, but um, actually because of how less classes I have, <laughs> I'm technically part-time, so it's actually glorious. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think to end on a national championship would be ideal um, and would be actually fantastic to end a four-year college career, but I'm just looking forward to the next step after Notre Dame. Great. With the senior tri-captain for the women's basketball team, Natalia Chama, I'm Ryan Camden.